Okay, so this one is exciting for children, kiddos, and game lovers alike. Nintendo says it's announcing its plans for the successor to the Nintendo Switch come March 2025. Yeah, the video game maker also says there will be no announcements about any new hardware at its Nintendo Direct event in June. So the company first launched uh, the Switch back in 2017, expects to sell 13.5 million more devices this year. And uh, we have a special guest joining us this morning who can speak to it a little better. This is Jonathan Eswin. He actually works on our Good Day Acadiana crew. And uh, he's our expert this morning because unfortunately we know very little, but you know a lot. So Jonathan, welcome to this side of things. Thank you for having me today. Yeah. Um, so I guess I'd like to start with, uh, I, I know that they had their financial investors meeting yesterday. Oh, wow. And uh, a lot of people have been very anxious on the, in the gaming community to know like what's going on what's for next? like the latter half of 2024. Mm -hmm. The company themselves don't really have anything lined up uh, in terms of software or hardware announcements or reveals for like later half of this year. Yeah. So people have been wondering. So they finally came out in their financial investors meeting and finally just gave a little tweet out saying that their new system is in development and that they've got a direct coming next month that's going to focus primarily on the game slated for the latter half of this year for their current system which being the the regular Nintendo Switch. Okay. And by time we get to next year we can start expecting to see what their next system is going to be. That's awesome. Well you were kind of telling us in the break that this next device is going to be great because you can still use all of your old that's a lot of the popular talk going around, and I, I, I very much believe that you're going to be able to fully use your older Switch games with the newer system, which That's means awesome. the library of games and software that you've been building up for the last like seven or eight years right. since that other system came out, uh, you can, you're still probably going to be able to most likely use them and play them on this newer device. So it's a really consumer-friendly move. That's awesome. Absolutely. I mean, just going back to like the olden days of <laughs> Nintendo when you had to use different systems and then, you know, different they come games. out with something new and then you wouldn't be able to use it and all. This is really going to help a lot of kids and even like for presents and different things like that, you know, oh, yeah. it's going to be something that a lot of parents really need to enjoy. Oh, yeah. The, uh, honestly, we, like, we've known for that the system was coming for a while now. Mm -hmm. It's just finally nice to finally hear the company come out and speak on it. Uh, the biggest question that we have is, what is the game that they're going to launch the system with? Mm. Ah. They, they launched the Switch with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild back in 2017. And that game has, is sitting at over like 30-something uh, million units sold. <laughs> so what game are they going to have to kind of get this... Uh, consumer base of 140 million players on this current system to migrate over to their next one. Well, Jonathan, thank you so much for We're that information. We're going to have you on more often. Yeah. Give us updates. Well, that we'll see you like back in our helpful. next hour. We will do exactly that. See you in a sec. All right.